What's up everybody? This is Motormark coming to you from beautiful Southern California. It's fire season down here. There's fires everywhere. Take a look at this shot I caught earlier. I wanted to kind of head out, just mess around on my new bike and get a picture or two of it and uh, the backdrop for the picture turned out to be pretty epic. Uh, unfortunately it's not a happy kind of epic, but it's epic nevertheless and makes for a good picture, so I thought I'd throw it out there. Um, as you can see, I'm on a new bike. I uh, bought this off of a friend in the Moto LA community um, for uh, friend prices, which is really the, the reason I ended up buying it. I gotta say, it needs a little bit of tender loving care, if you know what I mean. It's got a, a leak or two, it's got like a kickstand that's not really meant for this bike, it's got a turn signal that doesn't work, like the whole electrical. This was a dirt bike originally, and the guy got it uh, converted, or I think he converted it himself. So kudos to him for that, but he, he was able to get his dirt bike plated. So it's got a California license plate on it, which is really rare and really hard to get. Uh, so that's kind of why I bought it, even though it's not in the best of shape. Uh, but it's still fun, I'm out here enjoying the, the absolute hell out of it. Uh, just kind of like mobbing around, getting a feel for it. I'm really glad I took a supermoto class before I bought this thing because otherwise I'd be sort of like really out of my element. I mean, I'm out of my element anyways because I'm used to riding street bikes. But the way you ride a dirt bike or a supermoto is uh, dramatically different. I mean, if you do it, uh, if you try to ride it the way you ride a street bike, you're liable to uh, get yourself into really big trouble. And one of, the, one of the things when you're riding a bike like this, uh, like a supermoto style or dirt, dirt style bike, is that you're not really supposed to lean into a corner. You're supposed to kind of like push the bike into the corner under you and, and ride in a style that they call crossed up. So you're leaning the opposite way that the bike is leaning. So if I'm going to right turn, I'll lean my body to the left. Or, or I guess another way to think of it is I'm not going to lean my body at all. I'm just going to let the bike do all the leaning for me underneath me. And I'm by no means an expert, but this, this is like the beginner level basics that I picked up from the sumo class that I took. So anyways, that's neither here nor there. point of this video is, first of all, to say hi, because I haven't made a video in an awful long time. And uh, the reason for that being that there's a lot of uh, editing involved in my videos, as you know. I used to put a whole lot of effort into the production value. And just due to the availability of time since I finally started my first adult, adult job last year, uh, that free time's been at a premium. Let me buy. Thank you. Yeah, free time's been at a premium, so I haven't had time to do things like edit those high-quality videos that I used to make. Uh, so I'm doing my damnedest to make this into a one-shot video that doesn't require any searching through footage and finding the best parts. I'm just collecting a little bit of footage of a nice ride out on a nice day, except for the smoke and the fires. And uh, to enjoy the bike and introduce you to it, like I said, this is a Honda XR500R from the year 1981 an old girl. Uh, runs really well. The engine is solid. I can't find fault with it at all. It takes two or three kicks in the morning to get her going. Kickstart, by the way, is pretty cool. I actually like it. One less thing to go wrong. Can't have a dead battery and find yourself unable to get the bike going this way, which is nice. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's cool. I actually like it. When I first picked it up, I was really nervous about it. I didn't like the feeling of riding it because of how different it was. I took my supermoto class probably, uh, I don't even remember now, four, four months ago, five months ago maybe? It was, it's been a long time. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, it took me a little while to get uh, back used to riding this style, like crossing up, like letting the bike turn under you. And the first few blocks, as I was riding it away from the seller's house, uh, I had forgotten that, and I was leaning into the turns, and the bike was bouncing around under me, and it was just like, uh, it was a pretty bad situation, and I was feeling, like, uh, regretful about having purchased the bike. And by the time I got home, I was already having fun, and the sumo class was coming back to me, and it was like, okay, all right. Considering the price he gave it to me for, I don't feel bad at all. It's got like, whatever, it's got a leak or two. We'll get those taken care of. Everything will be right as rain eventually. Or even if it's not, basically the bike was cheap enough that I don't care. I'm just going to enjoy it. It'll be like my local getting around bike. And, you know, do local errands. Just have a little bit of fun in the neighborhood. This bike can't go on the freeway, so 
sort of limited to local lands, local playtime, unless I get it uh, towed or trucked out somewhere, which I plan to do eventually. I'd like to take this bike to do some uh, introductory dirt riding. I've been informed this is the wrong bike to do uh, beginner dirt biking on because 500s are a little too powerful. As a beginner, you probably want like a 250 or maybe even a 125. Uh, but again, because of the front prices, I couldn't turn this thing down, and the fact that it's plated, so, you know, I just, I, I, I don't feel bad about buying it at all. And the insurance on it is like dirt cheap too, it's like 150 bucks a year or something like that. So, for full coverage, mind you. So for all these reasons, I'm really glad I got it, but uh, there's definitely a learning curve. And uh, thankfully, for now at least, I'm enjoying the learning curve. Just got to make sure I keep in mind all the things that I can and can't do on it and how to ride it properly and all those things while I'm getting used to it. But uh, hopefully this is the beginning of a long and happy bike ownership. So uh, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, thank you for watching if you're here just to stop by and see what's going on in my life. Otherwise, uh, the other thing I'll mention is that in the olden days I used to talk about how much this vlog was really just a thing for me to have fun with and to, uh, you know, basically to create mementos of my rides for myself. And I think I was kind of lying to myself back in those days. Like, really, I was, I was hoping that I would get a bunch of viewers and a lot of people would find my channel and I'd become famous. But uh, I've sort of come to have a more realistic point of view on that, and I don't think I'm the type who's really going to make a career out of YouTube or being like a, a internet celebrity, so I'm kind of over it, and I am just making this video for myself and my friends, so if you're watching this, I guess you could think of yourself as one of my friends, and I hope you enjoyed the video.